Well, thank you for joining me, Hill. And uh, I'm excited to talk to you about uh, Intermodal and our process uh, in creating the, the video and the art direction and design and everything that went into that. Um, yeah. So I was thinking maybe we could start at the very beginning. Um, ironically, the first thing you see in the piece was the last thing that we kind of worked out, right? Was the, the titles. Yeah. And we, we spent a lot of time talking about what would make sense to present people's names, people's roles, how to make that interesting, how to connect it to the piece. We landed on this concept for the top finally, which mm -hmm. is a contact sheet. A contact sheet is sort of like a printed out sheet of all of these things, often used in photography to pull your like selects or your favorites. Mm -hmm. um, grease pencil was um, essentially used to circle or write your notes or mark right on that film. We also have end titles because we're in a four by three format, which is that square. You have those black bars on either side. In our end titles, we put like woodwinds or the sections or archival when we mm -hmm. um, delineated the different zones with these cutouts. I don't know, they just felt so natural. It just felt right after a while. There, there was some voiceover in the original piece that we were considering keeping in or trying oh. to incorporate or... <laughs> so, okay, so this is a 1950s piece. And so what you have is essentially exactly what you'd imagine in this like stereotypical 1950s way where like there's a narrator who's just like, welcome, it's the boys a surgeon for chemistry. And they have this tr sort of transatlantic accent going through the whole piece. And so... There was an interesting point at the, in the editing of this clip where I was like, okay, I want to send this to Sky, but I essentially have what's the sample. Like there's like this piece, which totally spoke to me. And it says, the air is perfumed with diesel smoke. And I remember thinking like, <laughs> can I do this? Like, can I? and the answer is no, it's not in there now. The air is perfumed with diesel smoke. When you're working with archival footage, it would be frustrating, right? Because you're like, oh, I'd love to go somewhere with this narrator, but there's no con there's no more opportunities in the whole piece to ever like use him again. Right. Um, yeah, it's really limiting what you have to work with because you're essentially trying to build another story out of somebody else's story using yeah. their blocks and just rearranging them. Yeah, and, and trying to be essentially cohesive or trying mm -hmm. to say something new. We have had to use some clips more than once, or I've used and replayed mm -hmm. some of the clips throughout, especially if it's the trains whizzing by, you know, I've right. clipped them a few times. This was also something that brought us to color. Because my headspace was very much in the 1900s, I was sort of in that f silent film era phase. And so I went back to that world and thought, how else did they make things interesting? And one of the ways was film tinting just for sake of this conversation, um, turquoise or a bright orange would signify like a change of scenery or a change mm -hmm. of mood or another act or something. Right. We marked zones, so to speak, which I was marking with essentially layers of color, sort of in this film ten tinting world. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would say like, okay, this tint will be the C petal. Marking changes, marking solos, marking petals, mm -hmm. marking um, like the most climactic part of the song or something like that. Yeah, or when the backgrounds came in, that was a different color or yes. there's like a long winding line section that was a color and sort of cut it directly with the music. And so essentially you gave me this great map when we came out of that conversation then I felt like I had a lot of room to play, which was like this whole area is this color or this mm -hmm. I, like can be a space for an idea. And then this will very much be a different section or a start of something. And mm -hmm. having that really gave me like parameters structure. essentially and a yeah. lot of great structure for sure. <laughs> Thanks for being like at each step of the way when I'm like, I might have a sample that could work here. And you're like, OK, like, That's... you know, at a certain point, it was like, OK, this doesn't work with the language anymore. But mm -hmm. at no point where you like, don't put anything, do not mm -hmm. interact with the music, like, just don't do that. Um, you were like, yeah. yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's try it. Yeah. Let's try it. And it lived for a few rounds and the air was perfumed with diesel smoke for a while. And then, and then it wasn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs>